He cannot afford these mistakes. Shocking that the most experienced skater in this competition is having the most difficulty. Well, there were too many mistakes. The whole thing just started to unravel. Last year, and I was that I didn't get my third title. I was extremely mad that I wasn't on the world team. It wasn't me. It was just a fluke year. He's telling the other competitors he's going to be a real factor in trying to win his third U.S. championship. It's really fueled me for this season. I am the strongest, and people are gunning for me. I'm just kind of waiting for anybody to stab me in the back. Rousing performance by Jeremy Abbott. I am a two-time national champion, and I deserve to be a third, and two more years to Sochi, a fourth and a fifth. I haven't reached my pinnacle at all. Here we take a look at two-time champion Jeremy Abbott. Won back-to-back -back titles in 2009 and 2010. Has really been working significantly on his artistry this past season. for the next jump because I, I feel strongly that it's the best triple axel in the world. Look at the ease, the straight air position, and the gorgeous landing. No one does a stress-free triple axel quite like Jeremy Abbott. It's just gorgeous. Love this footwork sequence. The detail of this program is so difficult. Well, for Jeremy tonight, it was the entire package. If you call everyone, the score is so pleased much. for Jeremy Abbott. His score for the short program. 90.23. He is currently score. in first place. Uh, it's a new record in a U.S. men's championship. New short program record of 90.23 for Jeremy Abbott, besting his own record of 87.85, and that puts him in first place with just three skaters yet to go. Oh man, the dreaded truth booth. Well, the truth is I'm back. 90. I've never gotten that score before, and it's incredible. I love, I love the U.S. Championships. There's always such an amazing energy, um, and the short program just really bursts with tons of energy. And I really felt the crowd, and it was great. And I hope all of you at home really enjoyed it because I loved it. Welcome you back to San Jose, California, the home of the 2012 Prudential U.S. Figure Skating Championships. We just saw the conclusion of the pair's free skate. Crown new champions Katie Denny and John Coughlin as we get set now for the conclusion of the championship men's event with the championship men's free skate. Take a look at the beautiful HP Pavilion here in San Jose. We are just moments away from the final 11 skaters here in the men's competition. And still to come, the final group, including Jeremy Abbott, the leader after the short program. So here they are, the final group of six. The ones that will decide the U.S. Championship. Their free skate is coming up. Leader after the short program, Jeremy Abbott, who seems a bit more focused this season, has put last year behind him and really came through with a snappy and sensational swing medley in the short. And looking to be champion for the third time after a record score in the short program of 90.23.
Let's jump in this program, a quadruple toe loop. program and the performance is in a class by itself. It's seamless. It's just everything is connected so beautifully. Just one thing melts into the next. But Jeremy's in a class by himself, really. Absolutely beautiful, breathtaking performance from Jeremy. His confidence this week, nobody could have beaten him. Three-time champion, I'm sure, after these marks go up and couldn't be more, more deserved. The score for his first date, 183.35. <laughs> <laughs> and a total of 273.58. That is a new record score under the new scoring system for the U.S. Nationals. Take a look at the final results for the championship men's free state. There it is. A new record 273.58. And that is almost 10 points higher than the previous record, which is also held by Jeremy Adams.